Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be reviewing the new Stila eyeshadows. These are the suede shade eyeshadows by Stila. I bought a couple of colors and I tried them. Um, I definitely had a few little challenges with it and I cannot wait for you guys to see how we fix them. As you guys know, I love Stila eyeshadows. I have a ton back there, but they're usually just like a focus point on my eyelid, um, not usually something that I blend around. So. It was a bit of an interesting experience. I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. Don't forget to um, do it before you leave. If this is the first video you watch of me, my name is Patty, and I love doing a ton of makeup tutorials and product reviews. I review everything I can get my hands on. So um, I hope you guys subscribe to my channel before you leave. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you leave them in the comment section down below. Let's not make this intro too long. Let's just go ahead and get started. I thought I would also do a get ready with me since I have not done anything showing my face on my channel for a while because it's been I look behind I look behind I look because um, all of the palettes that have come out and now this is a liquid eyeshadow so it's also going to be more so of an eye look um, but we are going to do a get ready with me I'm going to show you some products that I have been trying out lately that I've been enjoying uh, before we get there let me show you guys what the swatches of these eyeshadows look like I bought two of them um, I bought sassy and I bought bust them off so let me show you what they look like and the way they swatch these are the two that I bought right here I bought these two because I thought they would complement each other my plan is to use this one here bust the mauve to deepen up this color right here and then I brought uh, one of my regular Stila glitters just for my eyelid this one is Wanderlust which is one of my favorite shades right here let's see them swashed all right so that one right there is sassy and then right here next to it is bust them off and I think they are very very easily like blended See, they spread really easy, so I'm excited to see what they look like on the eyes. I'm going to swatch the color I grabbed for glitter too, just because, like, why not? It's one of my favorite Stila -like glitters. It's the color Wanderlust, and that's what it looks like right there. The camera doesn't really, like, pick it up. It's, like, golden pink. It's beautiful. <laughs> Okay, so let's start getting ready, and I'm going to go ahead and use my Stila One Step Correct to prime my face the foundation i'm going to use is like a sheer to medium coverage foundation so this is going to help with my redness and that way the foundation has to work a little bit less hard um this one's also good at like covering up my pores and all that fun stuff see how it took that redness down a lot because it's a like color correcting primer and then for foundation i recently got this one at work this is the hello happy foundation by Benefit and it is a sheer to medium coverage foundation that has like a dewy finish to it or a dewy satin finish to it I've been really liking it to be honest with you I'm going to go ahead and do a couple pumps there every time I've applied it I've applied it with a brush because I've been very lazy to wash my beauty blenders lately but we'll see how it looks like with a beauty blender <laughs> the color I use is number three if anyone's wondering which by the way when I swatched in the store like I thought it was gonna be hella yellow but it looks good it kind of reminds me of like Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation if you guys have tried that one but it's like a little bit more dewy or more hydrating or something alright so this is what the foundation looked like I said it was a um, sheer to medium coverage I think it is a solid medium coverage it looks really nice all my redness is covered and I just I don't know it looks like skin which I love so I've been really enjoying this one lately something else I've been doing is I've been combining two concealers these two right here so um I got the Shape Tape Concealer in the color Light and I've had the Shape Tape Concealer in the past and I hated it because I thought it made me feel so dry underneath my eyes but I have been mixing it with this one and I really like it mixed and it's perfect because I bought the wrong color of ColourPop Concealer I bought the Light 18 which is super yellow um, so these two mixed together have been working for me I like to start with the ColourPop just kind of do a few, few little stripes I'm gonna do a little up here too and then I get the shape tape and I go kind of like in the middle on top whatever there we go just like that and then I mix it together with my beauty blender okay so this is what we have right now we are a blank canvas next I'm going to go ahead and apply some of my Huda powder especially underneath the eyes I use the color pound cake 
from the Huda powder and there's nothing that sets my under eyes like this like I love this stuff and it can be a little heavy but it makes my under eyes not crease I'm gonna put a bit at the top of my eyes too which I don't know how this will react with those eyeshadows later on I hope it's okay and then for my cheeks, I'm going to use my Hourglass Translucent Powder. I went ahead and contoured my nose a little bit with my bronzer, my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I'll be using this one later too. But I wanted to go ahead and get my nose out of the way. Alright, so I think we're pretty much prepped and I'm going to go ahead and get started with the eyes. My biggest anxiety, because I'm having anxiety over liquid eyeshadows, is what brush I'm going to use to blend them. Because I feel like if I use the wrong brush, then it might not look good. I guess we'll just go for it. I'm going to start with this one. This is a, this is a Morphe brush, but I can't see which one it is. And I think I'm going to put the color Sassy up here, a little bit on the outer corner and in like that and I'm just going to take my brush and blend it around okay that's not terrible that was easy that was kind of easy to blend I got you guys a little closer so you can see better let's do the same thing here on the other eye and I'm just going back and forth with that brush moving the product around this would be really pretty as an all over like eyeshadow color like if I just went in on my eyelid and just had that one color all over it would look really nice I want to see how they blend into each other though that's why we're not doing that okay that looks good I'm grabbing a slightly smaller brush this is an M513 from Morphe and I'm going to get the color Bust a Mauve and I'm going to go ahead and just like place it right here on the outer corner just like that and I'm going to grab my brush and pat it and move it a bit so I'm doing windshield wiper motions on my crease with it and then a little bit down here okay let's try to intensify it a bit I'm just gonna add a bit more same brush I'm just gonna tap it in place rather than blend it around that actually looks really nice let's try to recreate the same thing on this eye I definitely feel like these have a little bit of a learning curve because I've never owned liquid eyeshadows before so like I don't know how to behave <laughs> I just know how they how I want them to look you know I'm going to get my bigger brush and see if that helps blend it out a bit one of the best things about these eyeshadows is that you don't have to be scared of any fallout <laughs> alright so this is what we are looking like so far right here I think I'm going to go ahead and do the shimmer And I'm just tapping, tapping right here on the end just to make sure that it blends into the deep purple. But this right here is what we have so far and that looks so pretty. I really, really like it. I'm grabbing a bit of a, bit of a smaller brush in the color Busta Mauve. And I'm putting it right here on the tip. And I'm just going to go in and like tap it on the outer edge. I'm going back and blending it out. I'm just trying different things to see like if it works pretty much. Something else I wanted to try and I pretty much forgot was to like see if we could blend the dark out into like the lighter shade. So we'll see now. Again, I'm just trying different things at this point. I'm just tapping it there. Let me see if just with the finger it looks good. No, I feel like I need the brush too. Okay, so this is pretty much what I came up with. I really like it. Let's go ahead and do a little bit underneath the eyes. So, of course, I'm going to start with Bust a Mauve. And I'm going to put it right here on the outer corner of my eye. Outer half right there. And I think I'm going to just try and blend it out with that same brush that I've been using. And then I'm going to do Sassy around it see how that works i look a little crazy right now but we'll see we'll see all right guys so i had a little bit of user error and i had to correct it with a bit more concealer i just literally put concealer over top of powder i'm cringing but like it looks okay <laughs> all right so this is what we have pretty much and that's the way i'm going to leave it i do want to do a little bit of an inner corner like glitter so we're going to add a little bit more glitter to the inner corner of my eye and i'm using the same one of course wanderlust so i'm just gonna put it there 
All right, so I scoot you guys back a little bit and we're going to go ahead and do some bronzer and blush and highlighter and all of those fun things. So I'm going back with my butter bronzer. We're gonna put it around our cheekbones here and I'm going to go around my forehead and underneath my jawline. Then for blush, I'm going to use this one here from Milani. This one is in the color Romantic Rose. And I love this one because it's like a mauve pinky blush. And I love mauve pinky blushes. You guys, I love blushes from the drugstore. And for highlighter, I'm going to bust this one out. This is the Vlada collaboration with Smashbox Highlighter. I love this one. I still have the box for it because like that whole collection had like the best packaging. I'm going to just go ahead and... Put it right here at the top of my cheekbones. You know what? My Wanderlust eyeshadow has pink and gold. So let's go ahead and get a bit of champagne pop too and put it on that highlight area. I'm going to apply some mascara off camera and I'll be back to finish up with the lips. Okay guys, so I am back. Mascara is applied. As you can see, I'm going to go ahead and do my lips real quick. This is... Max Lip Liner in Whirl. And then I'm going back with my Origins Lip Balm. I love this stuff in honey rose okay so this is what we look like let me tell you guys what i think about those eyeshadows i think there's definitely a bit of a learning curve to it because i was very nervous to blend it out and i was really nervous to like how blend it into each other and i definitely messed up my under eyes real bad because i did a lot more eyeshadow than I should have done. With that said, for this being the first time I played with those shadows on my eyelids, I've never put them on anybody else. I didn't even know how they worked. And I still got a really pretty eye look. I thought they were easy to use. Again, I messed up my under eyes real bad, but that's because I put way too much product under there. And it was an easy fix. If I were to have done my under eyes before my makeup, I would not even be talking about this because I would have just wiped it off and then put concealer on. To, what I had to do today was just kind of put concealer over my concealer so that it would cover some of that purple that I had put way too um, low underneath my eye. But it looks really, really nice. And if you're a person who likes cream eyeshadows, um, I think this liquid eyeshadow would be for you too. Because you could just put it all over your eyelid and then like get a brush and blend around your crease real quick and be done with it just with one color. Um, my other thing that I love is that even the really intense colors, like this color here, Bust a, Mo a Mauve, you can blend it out into like nothingness. They blend out really nicely. So you can even do a one shade eyeshadow look with that one and just blend it on the crease a lot so that it diffuses really nicely. So overall, I think I like these Stila eyeshadows. They're very different. I definitely like them more than the Liquid Huda ones because I have played with those at work and I'm not a huge fan of them. Um, these, I think, are really nice. You guys know I love the Stila glitter eyeshadows, so I was going to be really sad if I didn't like these, but I do. Um, they have really pretty colors too. They have baby blues, they have greens, they have like browns. You guys should definitely go to Sephora and check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you're not following me on Instagram yet, my Instagram handle is this one right here go ahead and follow me and you can see all of my looks up close zoom in on them see how they look all of that fun stuff um, if you like this video please go ahead and give it a thumbs up that helps my channel grow and if this is your first time watching my video my name is Patty please go ahead and hit that red subscribe button down below thank you guys so much for watching my video and I hope to see you back in the next one bye